Regular season champion Martin Truex Jr. wrecks out on lap four in Kansas and now is in jeopardy of not making the second round. All right, Mr. Burton, did you expect the guy who wins the regular season has the most playoff points entering these playoffs to be in jeopardy of not making the next round after two races? I certainly did not, especially with the speed that we've seen from the, from that team uh, in Martin. You know, no, I in no way did I see this. Uh, you know, they did not have a good run uh, the week before at Darlington. Then they go here and have a problem, you know, puncture in the tires. There's nothing you can do about that. But now here they are. Uh, they're actually out of the playoffs, you know, out of moving on to the next round as we as we sit today, and they've got to go to Bristol and they got to perform. I will say this, DJ, if if I'm the competition, I'm assuming they can. They're fast enough on a weekly basis uh, that they can overcome this. So I, I think that if I'm looking at Martin Truex, it's not the position I want to be in, but I'd still have a lot of confidence going to Bristol. There's just so much more pressure that this driver and team have just put on themselves. Uh, and, and it's kind of unwanted pressure for sure. Um, but to go to a place that you know, when you look at the round, um, you certainly knew that Darlington's a tough track. Kansas has become, you never know what's going to happen. Uh, but you knew that that looming there was, was Bristol, where we know that a half mile short track where things happen in a hurry, you can get caught up in someone else's problems. Now they have to think about that. They should not be in this situation at all uh, with the amount of points that they started with, but they have now put themselves in that. So Martin Truex is really good at deflect deflecting pressure um, most of the time, but this it, th there's added pressure. When you win the regular season uh, points championship, you put yourself in this position and you have the first two races uh, like this, and now you're fighting for your playoff life. Um, you know, that, that puts your mindset somewhere that you shouldn't even have to be thinking. And when you start deviating from what you should be thinking about, uh, then you find yourself in trouble again. So um, this hasn't been his best racetrack coming at Bristol, not to say that he can't go there and win the race and none of this will matter. And you'll forget about the first two races as they maneuver through the next rounds. And Jeff, this is a veteran team. I mean, we would not have expected two races in a row, especially the start of the playoffs, that a veteran team like this would make these kind of mistakes. Well, I, you know, I, I, I don't know that I can put uh, last yesterday on, on, on them as a mistake. I mean, you know, Goodyear said there was a puncture in the tire. That's just bad luck. Uh, you know, Martin said that in practice at Darlington, uh, his car wasn't as good as he needed to be. Uh, he had gotten in the wall, didn't recognize it, damaged the car, uh, and then they struggled with that the entire race. And uh, that's a mistake that, that you wouldn't expect. Uh, that, those are the kind of things that they have to have cleaned up. Uh, this past weekend, eh, that's just bad luck. Uh, but you got to put all that behind you at this point. I mean, at this point, it's just full focus on, on Bristol. It's a one-race season. Uh, you go into Bristol thinking about it being a one-race season. Now, look, we're going to interview them. They're going to say, oh, it doesn't matter. We've been here before, but it does. Uh, DJ said it exactly right. Uh, the pressure is mounted more than it was, uh, and, 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 and Martin will deflect it. You know, he'll, he's happy to be here and all that, but he didn't come back this year. He made a decision to come back, and he made a decision to come back next year to not contend for championships. And if you get knocked out in the first round, after winning the regular season, that is a failure. There's no other way to say it. Uh, that is, this team has much higher expectations than that. Uh, and you do not want to look back on this entire year with all the things that happened to you and have it wiped out in round one. That is not something that a team like this and a, and a competitor uh, like Martin Truex is going to be happy with. Yeah. And something that they're going to have to deal with is because of the, the point situation being so tight that everyone uh, from basically – uh, sixth, seventh on back is going to be racing as hard as they can in these first two stages to gather as many points as they possibly can there. Uh, so that's going to make it difficult uh, to, to gather points and try to maneuver and work your way through that particular way. And the side of, okay, we'll just go win the race and then it won't matter. Yeah, that, that's easily said, hard to do, especially when you have 
not only the, the drivers that you're racing uh, in the playoffs, but now Chase Elliott has started to run better. Uh, we know that, that he has battled for the win at Bristol a number of times here uh, recently. And you throw in Eric Jones, who's having some really good performances. Alex Bowman is right there, very capable. All of a sudden, winning becomes even more difficult than it was. So, uh, yeah, they're in a very precarious position. Uh, I don't care how they go about this and think about it. Uh, the, the start of these first two races, I know that they punctured the tire yesterday, but they had missed things terribly and could have rebounded with, with some adjustment. Uh, but they're just not performing at the championship level that we expect. That's going to have to change quickly. Hey, Rick. Be sure to tune in Friday for qualifying because <laughs> your opportunity to move into the next round of the playoffs happens Friday. And if you qualify poorly, you are not going to get stage points in stage one. So the pressure from the moment they unload the cars on Friday, it's there. You cannot, in this tight of a point battle, overcome poorly qualifying unless you execute the entire race perfectly. It is Bristol Motor Speedway. You are not going to drive from 30th to 5th in a few laps. It's not going to happen. So you cannot afford mistakes. You are not affording mistakes on Friday. So immediately the pressure is on. Thank you for joining us on this episode of Motorbound, presented by Toyota. Hi, I'm Parker Kligerman. For more access like this from Pit Road, be sure to click and subscribe to the Motorsports and NBC YouTube channel.